in. Now, there's nothing nicer than taking money off a bookmaker. So taking money off an Australian bookmaker would just be genius, wouldn't it? Gerard Daffy joins us now, who is an Australian bookmaker, uh, to tell us where the smart money is going. Uh, very good morning, very good evening to you, Gerard. Right, morning, uh, first things morning, first. Is your side finally going to make a go of it this time? Oh, I think so. Good things, I think. That was, that was just a little trial run when we lost over there. It was just to give you guys a little bit of confidence. We'll win it back this time. OK, well, put the tinnies down. We'll get serious there. <laughs> we'll get serious. <laughs> how, how do you view the, the series betting in this one? Who do you make favourite overall for the Ashes? It's a little bit bizarre, the betting, because we've got England, the favourites, to win the series at even money. We did have them at 5-4 to four early on today, but there's been some pretty hefty bets placed on them today. It's 13 to 8 Australia and 4 to 1 for a drawn series. However, in the test match, the first test, test match beginning tomorrow, England are the, actually the outsiders. So you don't think that the first test is pivotal to the series then? Well, I do, but as I said, the betting's quite bizarre because England are pretty much friendless in, their te in this test. They're 2 to 1. It's 7 to 4 Australia, 7 to 4 the draw. But Australian punters want to back Australia in the first test, I suppose because they have such a good record at the Gabba, but don't want a bar of them to win the series. But I would have thought if they win the first test, that puts them on the way and they'll be, they'll, well, they should be favourites to win the series after that anyway. I guess the record at the Gabba, but also the weather at the Gabba will have an influence. I'm looking at the forecast Sunday, thunderbolts and lightning. Is, is that taken into consideration? Well, it has, but there's been an overreaction the other way because the last two days in Brisbane, there hasn't been a cloud in the sky. But, I mean, I live there, Rob, and I know how ugly it can turn. And particularly this time of the year, we, we have what we call a wet season. These thunderstorms are nothing like you guys over there would have ever seen before. It just belts down. And we had that last week. They're tipping that for the second, third and fourth day thunderstorms, a lot of rain. So I'd be very, very surprised if we don't lose a fair amount of time in this test. And surely the draw has to shorten up, if, if, even if that looks like it's going to happen. OK. Uh, plenty has been written, spoken about, and, and pictures faked of Kevin Peterson. Uh, <laughs> the Aussies, are you, are you running scared of KP? No, nah, not at all. Actually, the, the banter that he had the other day was with one of my very good mates. So I've been right on top of that one. But uh, I can tell you that when Kevin Peterson walks out there tomorrow, he's going to cop at both barrels. Who's, so, who's going to get it I, worse, Gerard? Kevin Peterson or Stuart Broad? Well, it's going, to be, it's going to be a photo finish, that one, Rob, because you, you, over there you wouldn't have heard of this, but the, big, the biggest paper in uh, Queensland, the Courier Mail, which obviously is where the match is being played tomorrow, I've seen a copy of their front page... And they've got a big story on it that they will not refer to Stuart Broad by name. Uh, he's now uh, player number 27 or whatever player number he is. So they're giving it to him as well. So Aussies have got long memories. Uh, they haven't forgiven him, but I guess at more recent times, Kevin Peterson's bagged their town and they don't like that either. Yeah, because uh, it, uh, it's, quite, it's quite obvious to us that Australians don't like players who, who, who are arrogant, do they, or, or speak their minds and are full of confidence, and they don't like players who, who don't walk, do they? Surely that's, that's not in the no, Aussie traits, is it? No, no, not at all. No, they, hate, they hate those traits. That's no good at all. That's a no-no. <laughs> Over here, we're seeing all this uh, anti-publicity, if you like, towards Peterson uh, and, and Broad. As, as, as you panicking down there. That's true, isn't it, Gerard? I wouldn't think so. I mean, I... I think, uh, I think people are having their eyes open now to what these guys are actually like. I mean, we thought they were, were icons, but we get them over here and the reality is starting to hit home that Kevin Peterson, I mean, you just can't come to an Australian city and bag it the way he did the other day. So he'll get his just desserts. Don't worry about that. Yeah, well, we will see, uh, Gerard. And, and if England were to win the Ashes, win the series, uh, and even win this opening test, how much money do you stand to lose there? Well, I think uh, cumulatively around the country, it'll be millions and millions of dollars because uh, we're pretty parochial here. We don't mind taking on the palms. Yeah, OK. Well, well, we look forward to taking some of that money then, Gerard. Thank you very much for Thanks, joining Rob. us. <laughs>